Now, in my seven plus years of being a tour host, I have noticed that most people who come onto the platform end up failing for one of three reasons. The problem is that when people fail, they never come back to the platform and give it another chance because it leaves a bad taste in their mouth or you just end up with too much financial liability, which leaves you debilitated and unable to continue on. In my years of doing this, I've observed that the top performers on the platform get these three things right. And that's what I'm gonna break down in this video. And I just have to say, if you wanna do tarot part-time or as a side hustle, or you just wanna test it out to see if it's right for you, and if you never watch another tarot video ever again, Please just watch this one the whole way through because I'm going to go over how to set up insurance properly, how to properly check in and out of a trip, and then the most important one that most people don't realize is maintaining vehicle safety. These are the three primary things that would expose you to the most financial risk and liability, and we want to minimize our downside. And so this is going to allow you to go ahead and test the marketplace, do it part-time, do it as a side hustle while being informed and having yourself covered. So that's what I'm going to break down in this video. So let's get into it. So I always have a good laugh when like a family member or a friend will be like, hey, Saima, you know, what do you think about me listing, you know, my Tesla Model S Plaid Edition that I just bought brand new, you know, a $150,000 car on the Plat Turos platform. I'm like, yeah, it's a great idea. If you're into wanting to rent your car out, offset your payment, you should do it. But you should also know the potential problems that you can run into, which is, for example, your car can go out on its very first rental and it could be involved in an accident. How would you feel about that? That is very important to think about. And the part that always makes me laugh is how caught off guard people are about that. And they're like, no, when you list your car on Turo, they don't get in accidents. I'm like, what? Of course they do, right? Uh, it's inevitable over time that these things happen. Yes, it is extremely rare. I have to emphasize that. The amount of times that incidents take place on your vehicles while they're out on rentals really rare, very few and far between, right? It's just over time when you've been doing Turo for you know seven plus years like I have, of course, probability becomes highly likely, right? It's inevitable that something will happen. I think for Turo, on average, the claims rate is around 2% or so. So it's extremely minimal, but you wanna be prepared for when that happens. So you can't go into it thinking that nothing is ever gonna happen to your car. I mean, it's possible, but the probability over time is unlikely. So I wanna give you some examples of things that I have personally experience and I know that some of my fellow host friends have experience. Now it can be super simple things, right? Family comes into town, they rent your car, they're here in Southern California, they're headed to the beach for a grand old time, right? But along with the beach comes sand. Sand is one of those things that once it gets into your car, it's extremely difficult to get out. It is granular, it's in every nook and cranny, and it seems like it is endless. And for any of my host friends that have experienced this, I know you know exactly Exactly what I'm talking about and it is just a huge pain. So my friends out there who want to try to part-time or as a side hustle or you have a car, you just want to list it to get a feel to see if it's for you. You just want to make sure that you understand that these things can happen and it's not that big of a deal, especially if you understand the tarot process, you document everything well. Yes, it's a hassle to get sent out and it can take time, but you will be compensated for that time and it will be well worth your time as well. So those are little things that can happen. Now let's take it another level up, okay? Someone comes into town, this is becoming more and more common, and people want to indulge in a little Mary Jane, right? And they decide to smoke up in your car, maybe leave a little ash behind, a bit of odor, they have their bar of Marley on, and they're just having a great time living their best life. You get your car back, renters were great, friendly, great communication, you hop in and you realize, oh, 
my car smells like weed. How am I going to get this odor out, right? Um, and that's when you want to, of course, bring in your ozone machine. But these things happen and you can get compensated for them if you set yourself up correctly. Now, let's take it even a little further than that. Now, there are instances that can take place that are not really your fault as a host. Let's just say you've crossed all your T's and dotted all your I's. You're protected with insurance, you did the proper check-in and check-out, and your vehicle meets all the safety standards. Your renter out on a trip, all is well. This happened to my gorgeous Burgundy Vanderhall Venice. I rented it for years on the platform. It did amazing. People loved it. Um, got a great day rate. People just love the experience. I mean, just look at how gorgeous it is. And renter came through, super nice, great communication. Everything checked out. Car goes out on its trip. It's actually on its way back to me on the return date and somebody rear ends her with a vehicle landing on top of the Vanderhall Venice totaling the entire car. And thankfully, I have to mention that nobody was hurt. Everyone walked away without any injuries by some miracle. But these things can happen. And was I fully taken care of when this incident happened? I was because I had the proper insurance set up and I understood the Turo system. Now, if you guys are enjoying this video, make sure you hit that like button. And my fellow host friends who have experienced crazy incidents, I would love to hear some of your stories. So make sure you comment down below. And on a final note, there are instances where it could be your fault as a host. And those are the ones that you want to avoid because that is where you get stuck with all the financial liability and you expose yourself to too much risk. So let's say you want to try to part-time as a side hustle with a car that you might already have just to get a feel for it. So you list your car out on the platform without knowing that Turo has certain safety requirements that your vehicle must meet. It's been a while, maybe you just didn't think about it and you haven't replaced your tires. Your tires don't meet Turo safety standards, which I'm gonna get into in a minute. Car goes out on a rental, let's say it's out in LA, it hits a nasty pothole that LA is notorious for. Tire blows up, causes a little accident, next thing you know, your front axle snaps in half and it's a $13,000 repair. This has happened to me. And so these are the types of instances that you want to avoid because in a situation like that, where your car didn't meet safety standard requirements, this would be your liability as a host. And you want to avoid these types of things at all costs. It's extremely important. Now, again, these are few and far between, but they can happen. So let's get into exactly the three things that you need to implement in your Turo business and your strategy so that you don't ever fall into any of these pitfalls. So this might sound like a lot of information and you don't wanna let that bog you down. If you wanna get a full grasp on exactly how Turo works, all the things that you need to know to minimize any downside risk and financial liability that you could potentially have, check out my website, powerhost.club, where I have a full course. I offer consultations as well. So you can just hop on there, join my community, and we would love to get to know you and help you throughout your Turo journey. Okay. So first thing that you really want to understand is your Turo host protection plan, otherwise known as insurance. So Turo offers many plans, anything from plans with zero deductibles up to plans with $2,500 deductibles. And I'm going to post a link to the protection plans down in the description below so that you can read through them in detail. This is really important because you want to fit the one that financially meets your needs. So for example, I find that most hosts are on the 75% plan. What does that mean? That means if your day rate on a vehicle is $100 per day, you get to take home $75 out of that and Turo takes 25. In exchange for that, Turo is going to cover all damages except anything that is below $250. $250 is your deductible regardless of who is at fault. So you have to remember that all of your coverage comes from your host protection plan as the Turo host. So it doesn't matter what insurance the guest had. So if they got premium standard or no coverage, it doesn't matter because your coverage for your claim does not come from that. So in the instance that I discussed about my Vanderhall Venice is getting totaled, right? I forget what plan I was on, but I'm going to say it was probably the 75% plan, which 
uh, it has a very low deductible. And that was fantastic because what happens is when that payout comes for the claim, that means I'm only responsible for $250 of it. Now, if you're on one of the higher host protection plans, like the 90% plan, that means you would be responsible for 2,500 of it. So let's just say what I owed on my Vanderhall Venice was $5,000. If I was on the 90% insurance plan where I had a $2,500 deductible, what that means is that Tura would pay out only $2,500 out of that $5,000 bill because I'm responsible for $2,500. So that's where I mean you need to really take some time, read through the plans and say to yourself, hey, listen, if a worst case scenario happens and my car gets into an incident, an accident, gets damaged, which deductible am I comfortable with coming out of pocket? So you have to do what makes financial sense for you as an individual in whatever your situation is. Now, often I find that people who are coming into Turo doing it part-time or as a side hustle just to get a feel for it, you likely want to be on one of the higher host protection plans. So you have a very low or no deductible keeping you safe and not exposing yourself to too much financial liability. So you definitely want to entertain maybe that 60% plan or that 75% plan. The 60% plan has zero deductible, which means if anything happens, you're not responsible for coming out of pocket for anything. And the 75% plan has a $250 deductible, which in my opinion is pretty low. So that's a really important one. Now, in order to have coverage through your host protection plan, there is one key piece of information that you have to execute on flawlessly. And that is point number two, checking in and out of your trip with on time and within kind of the landscape that Tura has created. Now I've put a chart up here where you guys can see exactly when you need to upload photos at the start of a trip and when you need to upload them at the end of the trip. The documentation is really important. Why? Because let's say your car goes out on a trip. It's damaged during the trip. Tara has to go back, look at the reservation, and look at your pre-trip photos to understand what the condition of the vehicle was. Now, let's say your vehicle gets rear-ended, but guess what? You wouldn't take any photos of the rear side of your car, the back end of your car. There's no photo documentation. How is Turo supposed to know that when you gave the car to the renter that it had no damage? So this is why it's really important. If you don't take those pre-trip photos and upload them to your reservation within the time frame that is allotted within 24 hours of the trip starting, then you are not going to have coverage if something happens. So that documentation is so key because that is what they use as a reference point. And the same thing goes for the checkout process. So please, please, please don't skip out on taking photos and thinking to yourself, oh, it's gonna be fine, nothing's gonna happen because I promise you, the moments where you think nothing is gonna go wrong is exactly when things go wrong and you don't wanna get caught with your tail between your legs and end up owing a bill for damages, right? We don't want that. In all businesses, you must minimize your downside risk, extremely important, and this is how you're going to flourish, okay? So you wanna make sure you keep that in mind. And finally, point number three, and the one that is kind of like the sleeper, it's very undercover, and most people don't even know about this, and I think most hosts who actively do Turo don't even know about this. Your vehicles must meet certain safety requirements from Turo. Now I'm gonna post a link down in the description below that's gonna walk you through it detailed in detail from Turo's website directly, but there are a few key things that you have to know. Your tires have to be in good health. You cannot rent your car out with worn down tires, right? And tires are measured by their tread life. And so you wanna make sure that you get a gauge and you check that or take it to your local shop and they will check it for you. You can go to Costco, they'll do it for free. And you wanna make sure that it measures above 432 because that is the safety requirement that is needed by Turo. 
Your brake life, your brakes have to be in good working condition. So again, that specification is in that link down below. And then finally, you don't want to have any sort of uh, safety lights coming on on your dashboard of the vehicle. So by that, I mean things like uh, the check engine light, you know, tire pressure lights. Those are huge. If your car goes out on a trip and any of those things are active and lit up on that dashboard, that tells Tura right away that, hey, you're sending these cars off in a condition that is not considered road safe. So you want to make sure that you don't have any of that stuff going on. That way you are protected and you are meeting those safety standards. So extremely important. So to all my friends who have been commenting and asking about doing this part time, doing it as a side hustle, 100%. Do I think that it's worth it to try it? A million percent. But just make sure that you are educated. And again, if this is the only video you watch, I promise you this right here, this is enough. This is the meat of what you need to do in order to, what you need to know in order to do this in a way that does not expose you to a lot of financial risk and liability. So please, please, please Read, those, read through those links down in the description below. If you want to learn more about this, check out my website at powerhost.club where I have a course that will walk you through everything in great depth and detail so that you can make an informed decision and do this in a manner that is not going to be financially um, risky to you. So extremely important. So on that note, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Make sure that you do practice this every single day that you are renting out your car. It is extremely important. I look forward to talking to you guys down in the comment section below. You guys have been amazing. And if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks guys.